South Dakota is one of the states leading the nation in vaccinations against COVID-19. That was one of the highlights of today's city briefing on COVID numbers. The other highlight pertains to active new cases and hospitalizations. As Don Jorgensen reports in tonight's Health Beat, those numbers are dramatically down from one month ago. The COVID-19 vaccinations have been a smooth process so far, according to health officials. I think as South Dakotans, we should be very proud of our state. We are ranking in the top two or three states nationally on the percentage of the population that we've vaccinated so far. Hospitals have been vaccinating about 2,500 people per week since they started three weeks ago. Most of them, healthcare and frontline workers. They are categorized in groups of 1A, 1B and 1C. Within the next few weeks, we'll be moving into 1D, which is a pretty big category. 1D is all of those greater than age 65, those with chronic medical conditions, um, in education, um, congregate living settings. Uh, and so that's going to be a big group when you've got all of the elderly in there. In the last few weeks, we've uh, given out 8,200 vaccinations. Um, and about 3,000 of those have been outside of Sioux Falls to various counties, not only in the eastern part of the state, but some in the western part of the state as well. In Sioux Falls, as far as active cases and hospitalizations go, the numbers continue to trend downward. As of today, there were 1,957 active cases. That's down from 5,000 four weeks ago. Hospitalizations are also down by 50 percent. Those are good trends. Those trends, like I said, I think are uh, due to a variety of reasons, one of which is just uh, smart actions by our residents. Uh, the mask wearing, social distancing, taking it seriously over the holidays. Health professionals also want you to know something else about the vaccinations as more and more people will be rolling up their sleeves. Once you've had the vaccine, doesn't give you kind of a get out of COVID free card. Dr. Basil says you'll be protected against the virus, but it'll take time for the vaccine to kick in so you could still be contagious and possibly transmit it to others. With Health Beat, I'm Don Jorgensen. Doctors say young, healthy people shouldn't expect to get the vaccine until sometime in the spring.